hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in so in today's video i'm going to be doing the sisters version of the brother's video that i made if you're here to see the video please see it here yes here thank you so <laughs> brothers have said a lot of things let me quickly comment on the fact that brothers did not say anything until i start entering their dm one after the other mm, that says a lot <laughs> So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So brothers had a lot of things to say, actually, and I would not want this video to be long, so I'm just going to say them as briefly as I can. And the first thing I'm going to be talking about is sisters. We need to... Okay, you. I'm talking as a third person. Sisters, you need to stop setting unrealistic standards when it comes to the kind of man you want. Yes, we know that there are a lot of things on the internet that look so perfect. There are a lot of excellence on the internet. But that should not shape your reality. That should not be what is shaping your reality. It's good to see something beautiful and want it and desire it and say, God, I want this kind of thing. It doesn't mean that until a man talks until a man talks like the kind of person that you have seen online until he dresses a certain way until he relates a certain way until he treats you a certain way that is on the internet you feel you are settling for less which is not very good enough we need to am i saying we learn how to manage your expectations when it comes to romantic relationship don't raise the bar so high because of things you have seen on the internet because of the excellence you have seen online and then you want to use that online excellence to join on to judge on ground reality it might not be good enough you might want to allow god you know be be the one that determines the person you go for i'm not saying you should lower your standard i'm only saying let your expectations be realistic and don't be so um rigid when it comes to um relationships when it comes to the kind of person you want to end up with and for those that are already in a relationship learn to appreciate god for the kind of person he has given to you learn to thank god for his life learn to um be patient as god will be taking him through the growth process and don't um compare him and don't put pressure on him to be like people that you have seen online it is very very dangerous and i know brothers are saying this because they must have seen a certain trend in we in you sisters <laughs> oh god they must have seen a certain trend in sisters because of and um, you know there are a lot of beautiful things in quotes i'm not saying we don't have beautiful marriages and relationships but there are a lot of things that we see on the social media couple goals and sisters so much want that that if a brother does not fall in that category they are quick to judge and say no even before taking it to god even before without allowing the spirit of god you know help them in making whatever decision they are going to make i'm going to just quickly add that Sisters, if a brother says, if a brother comes to you and is not up to your standard, it doesn't mean you should laugh at him. It doesn't mean that you should ridicule him. It doesn't mean that you should sit down with your friends and laugh at him. Yes, brothers actually told me this. It is very bad. Fine, it might not be up to um, your standard. It might not be um, what you want in a man, but just say no and let him be. Don't um, make him a laughing stock. Don't make him um, a topic amongst your friends and you people will sit down and discuss and talk about him. It is not good enough. In fact, if the present might not even be what the person will turn out to be it will amaze you what god will bring out in that person you are rejecting so yes nobody is saying it is bad for you to reject him but if you are rejecting him you can do that without making him a laughing stock amongst your friends or ridiculing him or making him embarrassing him it is not good enough that brings me to the second point actually Sisters, you need to learn how to turn down proposal politely you need to learn how to say no politely. You might want to sit the brother down and let him know that as much as you would love to, you know, be in a relationship with him, or even if you would not love to be in a relationship, I'm not saying you should lie. You might want to just tell him that, you know, you feel that he's not um, the one for you and that you believe that God has someone perfect for him, somebody better for him. And, you know, just find a way to drop the no without being rude, without embarrassing him be polite and be very um, empathetic in whatever answer you are going to be given to a brother. It is very, very important. The next point I'm going to be talking about is sisters. Brothers want you to be real. Be real. <laughs> 
be real and be true to yourself because a lot of sisters already know that a particular brother has been coming to you getting you gifts giving you money buying you a lot of things and then deep down you know that he wants more than friendship but you keep telling yourself you keep lying to yourself that it's just friendship or you keep claiming that the brother has not you know made his intention known and deep down, you know that the brother is not even somebody you can even consider being in a relationship with. But you are there taking all of the gifts, taking all of the money, taking all of the attention, and leading, me, leading him on without sitting down to define the relationship. It is very, very bad. If at all you notice that a brother has been doing some certain kind of, behaving some certain kind of way, and buying you gifts, you know, talking to you more and all that, you might want to sit down with him and define the relationship. Let him know. See, coming from a sister that has been in a situation, I'm telling you the fact. Sit him down and say, okay, it is obvious that you, you know, pay attention to me more. You call me often, you give me gifts, you, um, you buy me things, you give me money or whatever it is that is given to you. You might want to sit down and ask, what exactly is your intention? Is this just friendship? You can tell him. I am just being friends. Is there more or something? I've, I've actually done that before with a brother and the answer I, I got was that he's still trying to, you know, figure things out and once he has the answer, he would get back to me. So from there, I could tell that definitely this person probably is still praying about it, probably he's still trying to, you know, make up his mind. And then I, I, I had to tell him at that point that I want you to know that we are just being friends. To me, we are just being friends until further notice at least. So you might want to sit down and, you know, have that kind of sincere conversation with a brother. If at all the brother is not forthcoming, is not making his intentions known, you might want to, you know, reject some of the gifts. It's not everything you'll be collecting and see, hey, sister, you can embarrass somebody. You'll be collecting everything, be collecting the money like an hungry person. I'm so sorry to say this, but it's the truth. At the end of the day, you now claim and eh, you did not know. And then after you collect everything, you now come and say no to the brother. It is not fair. You know, put yourself in their shoes. You might want to, you know, tell him, this is too much. I don't want you to spend so much on me. You, it's not every grief. It's, it's not every gift you collect. There are some gifts you reject, honestly. It's not everything they bring to you that you're always collecting, just taking everything. Don't be an hungry and olojukokuru, whatever that means. If a brother proposes to you, don't take five years. Don't take years. In fact, don't take so long for you to now come back and say no, even if you're going to say yes. Is that how? I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if that is how hard it is for God to speak. Because a lot of times, deep down, deep down, I'm talking, I'll take it like sister to sister talk. We know where we're not going to say yes. We know where we're not going to settle for a particular brother. But then we keep saying, I'm praying about it. I'm praying about it. Praying about what exactly? That what you already know will change. Or you're just buying time. Or you're just avoiding the inevitable. I don't know. You already know that saying no is inevitable. So why not just go ahead and... I don't know. A lot of sisters need to do better in that aspect. So when it comes to praying about proposals or making a decision, it doesn't take that long for God to speak. Don't take years and say, let's pray about it. Okay, if there's something that is, you know, stopping you from saying yes at that point, maybe you want to finish school, maybe there's something you need to, you know, figure out. You might want to sit the brother down and talk, okay, this is it. I was actually, or I plan to say yes to you, but I feel this is not the right time or something. Just be very sincere and be real, sisters. It is very, very important. So yeah, that's that about that. The next thing brothers would have you know, sisters, is that you need to be knowledgeable when it comes to a wide range of subjects it's not just relationships see sisters we are made for more than just relationship is god did not create us to just be so focused on relationship the person i want to get married to oh marriage or oh, marriage and at the end of marriage is that all that is that it is to life there is more to life than just relationships and marriage and giving birth there is so much more to life so you might want to you know invest in getting knowledge that is outside marriage you might want to focus and put channel and i see a lot of people are so focused on relationship 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 see when a sister has something she's focused on other than waiting and expecting somebody to come to her or waiting to settle down it is so beautiful and attractive when you have something you are busy with see get busy and try to get knowledge on different things. Just even leave relationship aside. In fact, discussing with some sisters can be so frustrating because there is really um, no knowledge on different things. You might want to know a little bit on different um, subjects and not just be rigid and just be um, 
a one-way traffic no try to learn different things try to improve your knowledge basically read books watch documentaries and all that it is very very important there is more to life than just relationships and just giving birth and marriage there is much more to life you might want to get busy with whatever it is that god has committed into your hands if god has not committed anything into your hands there are a lot of things you can get busy with get, get, if, even if your career is um not something you can get busy with you might want to get busy with the work of god get busy with you know just doing what you love it is very very attractive so the other thing i'm going to be talking about <laughs> is that sisters brothers want you to make your hair regularly <laughs> coming from someone that hair is not made anyways i think we that we have fine hair we can be excused you know <laughs> so sisters brothers want you to make your hair regularly and if you not be making your hair regularly they want you to cut it <laughs> i mean that's all what person literally said to me so we need to like be intentional about our appearance hair skin clothing and all that trust me i'm not the best person to be saying all this but we need to put in more effort okay it is very very important so that brings me to the end of this video i want to hear more from you brothers what are the things i did not talk about what are the things you feel sisters really need to learn and watch and work on trust me there are so many points there are so many things to say but i don't want this video to be too long so drop it in the comment section what are the things you feel that sisters need to work on work on things that you feel christian sisters need to watch things they need to watch out for things they need to be intentional about just drop them in the comment section i'm sure sisters will be reading thank you so much for watching this video please share this video with your friends your female friends your sisters share 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 this video and give this video a thumbs up so youtube will recommend this video to more viewers and subscribe to my channel if you have not you have watched my video from the beginning to this point i have still not subscribed it is not good enough please subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching see you in the next one bye